Hello, this is Sash Kaiseminijad with ID8 Software. In this video, we will look at ways in which you can use ID8 BIMLINK to take an owner's program requirements, which is typically created in an Excel-based document, to easily create unplaced rooms. For this example, we have already created a programming room schedule in Revit, which will compare the room programming area to the actual room area, and will flag all conditions that do not meet our requirements. Let's go ahead and have a look at how IDA BIMLINK can expedite this process. We are first going to go ahead and look at the programming room schedule that we have already created. We'll click on the Properties tab, and then we'll click on the Edit Fields button. As you can see, we've added several parameters pertaining to rooms, including our target square footage from the programming document and a calculated parameter which will report the percentage of difference between the target square footage and the actual square footage. We'll go ahead and click OK to exit the dialog box. We will now go ahead and open up ID8 BIMLINK and have a look at a couple options for creating a new room link file. Our first option is to use the predefined link that ships with BIMLINK. We'll include the subfolders and we'll scroll down and find the link called Rooms Create New. We'll see if the description meets our needs. We'll click Next and then we'll review the parameters that are associated with this link file. We can also filter and find any sort of user-defined parameters as well. Because we have already created a programming schedule in this Revit file, we're going to go ahead and create a new link based on the programming schedule. We will select the Rooms category since we're creating new rooms. Next, we will give this link definition an appropriate name. For the description field, it is a good idea to be as descriptive as possible, especially if you intend to use this link for future use, or if someone who is unfamiliar with the project joins your team. Once we have given the link a name and description, we will select the schedule that we have already created. In this instance, take note of the fact that the percent difference calculated value will not export to Excel since it is unsupported. For this link, we will go ahead and remove the level name, and the area since we're not interested in editing this data for this particular example. As you can see below, these parameters have been omitted from the exported Excel file. We will now click on the Filters tab to review the filters. In this case, a filter rule that was already applied to the schedule has carried forward to this link definition. And finally, we will click on the Sorting tab and adjust any of the sorting parameters for our exported Excel file. You can always resort once you're in Excel. Once you're finished, we will go ahead and click on the Export button, and we will save our Excel file to our project folder, and then we will click on the Open button from within BIMLINK. Once our Excel file has been created, we're going to go ahead and switch over to our owner's programming document that we created earlier. As you can see, in this particular example, we created our first and second floor room data. For this particular example, we're going to go ahead and copy the first floor data, which includes the room number, the room name, the department, and the target square footage. You're of course not limited to this data. You can always add more information later on if you so choose. We'll come back to our previously exported Excel file, and we'll expand these columns a little bit for visibility purposes. And then in the number portion of the column, we'll paste special. Take note that the room number, name, the department and the target square footage have carried forward. Now under the ID column, in order for BIMLINK to generate these new rooms, we need to put the word new. We'll go ahead and fill down, and then we'll scroll up to review the results, and then finally we will save this Excel file and close it down. We will now return to BIMLINK to import our recently edited Excel document. We'll select the Excel file, and once in BIMLINK, we'll review it for any errors and warnings. We'll then click on Import, and then finally we'll click on Close to complete the import process. As you can see, all the rooms from our programming document are now in our Revit model. We're going to go ahead and place a few of these rooms for this particular demonstration. We'll click on the Architecture tab, then on Room, and instead of placing a brand new room, we're going to pick from our list of program rooms. We'll start off with a triage registration, and once again, we'll go back up to the room list, 
and we'll pick the security. We'll zoom in a little bit closer and we'll follow that up with the men's toilet. And then finally, the women's toilet. If you look at the schedule below, you can see the percent difference between the target square footage and the actual area. IDEA Incorporated is an Autodesk authorized developer with 25 plus years of experience in software development with a specific focus on building information modeling. For more information about IDEA BIMLINK and other products, please visit our website at www.ideatsoftware.com.